Hello to you, the dear viewers. I'm very delighted to have participated in this conference. My name is Farzani Sepehri. I am the daughter of Mother Sepehri. My family, since 1980, was a family that supported the Mujahideen. In 1981, my brother, Muhammad Sepehri, who was 19 years of age and he was a student, was sentenced to death. Also, my cousin, Fatemi Shayiste, who was an army officer with uh, the age of 26 or 27 years of age. She was also sentenced to death and they were both executed in 1981. In 1982, my aunt, who was the mother of that uh, of Fatima Shaiste, my aunt's name was Sohra Davudi, a supporter of Mujahideen, about 60 years of age. She was hanged, and also her son, Ahmad Reza, who was a law student, was also hanged in 1982. As we heard about that, uh, about the vicious tortures, we learned that when the executioners were, uh, were torturing Ahmad Aza, they put a funnel into his mouth and poured water mixed with chemical liquids and detergent powders and forced him to swallow. At that time, the executioners forced my aunt, the mother of this person, to watch and uh, be witness to his son being tortured. When they were hanged, they first hanged my, my cousin to force the mother to see this scene or perhaps break her. So it was after him that they hanged my aunt. In 1986, Mohammed my other cousin, who was an engineer, in 1986 in Tehran, Evin prison, was imprisoned and he was executed. Our family members would continuously be arrested, tortured, and executed until 1988 when the, the circumstances was was changing uh, Tehran was in turmoil my mother planned to leave the country uh, they wanted to leave the country along with his son my younger brother Muhammad Hanif, Muhammad Hanif Sepehri. My brother was only five years old at that time. They left house, they wanted to leave the country, but uh, ever since we have had no traces of them, we still don't know their whereabouts. Since then till now, it's about 32 years. We have not seen my mom, nor have we seen my my brother, five years old brother. They never gave us any information about them. We assumed that they have been arrested or even maybe martyred. But, but the question remains, unfortunately. My mother might have been executed on the charges of being a supporter. But uh, what about my younger brother? How could they kill an innocent five-year-old kid or make orphan of him? They didn't inform the family of, of his whereabouts. And after 32 years, we're still looking for any traces of my mom or my brother. Unfortunately, neither in Europe nor in Iran were we able to find any traces of them. 
I hope we'll see someday that the Iranian people, people's plight would be heard. Maybe someday the United Nations will will understand what's happening to the Iranian people. I thank you for giving me this opportunity to share the story of my family with you and perhaps raise my voice so that people would hear. I also call upon the United Nations Special Rapporteur for Human Rights and European countries in Canada to establish independent fact-finding committees to find out about 1988 massacre to put an end to the to the to the continuous crime against humanity i hope they support and they help the iranian people thank you very much for the opportunity fazan jan khayli mamnoon fad age betunin ye tawzi ham dar ratu be un qab aksi ke kenar tun hast va un shahada ham baramun bedin this is my brother, he was 19, Muhammad Sepehri. He was executed in Mashhad. This is my mom. She was 46 or 47 years of age when she left home and we never were able to find her at any time after that. This is my older cousin, Mohammad Reza Shayisteh. He was an engineer. He was executed in Tehran. This is my other cousin, Fatima Shayisteh. She was an army officer. She was executed without any kind of judicial process, not even a, a court martial. She was executed in 1981. This is Ahmad Reza Shayiste. He was a law student. In the early month after the revolution, he was a student in the US, but he came back to Iran. He was unfortunately arrested by the regime and sentenced to death by hanging. This is my aunt, Sukhra Davudi who was a 60-year-old housewife. She was a very kind person. She was active on charity works, not just after the revolution when she got to know the Mujahideen, but even before the revolution, she was always active in helping the poor and providing food for them. This picture belongs to my sister when she was a child. I don't have a picture of her older days. Fatima Yesediri, who was martyred in the Operation Eternal Light. My mom, I already told you. This is a picture of Behesht Reza grave, right? This is my brother's grave. They did not allow us to put a gravestone on that. So you see, it's just dirt. Every now and then, we had to bring some dirt so the grave would not be flattened. But unfortunately, they have flattened the whole graveyard that belonged to the Mujahideen supporters. They have ruined this place. This picture belongs to the time when we were there and we would go there regularly to pay tribute to the martyrs of Mujahideen. I, unfortunately, I don't have a picture of my younger brother here, who was five. I hope he is still alive and well, wherever he is. Thank you.